All right, so I just lost my weapon inside of DMZ, and today I'm gonna show you guys another way that I use to regain all my stuff back in DMZ. Now, what you guys are gonna wanna do is whenever you do spawn in, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and locate Al Malik Airport here on your map. You're gonna wanna go ahead and ping the control tower. Now, you guys do not need a key for this. This is solo, you guys can get into it easy once you guys learn how to do it, which I'm gonna show you guys. So 600 meters away, now you guys can find a vehicle if you can. Or just make a run and sprint over to it. Now, real quick, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support lately here on the channel. Um, season 2 is coming up, which means a lot more videos. Um, you know, double uploads probably every day. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but it is definitely exciting seeing a Sheikah Island coming to DMZ. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are excited for it. We are 500 meters away from the control tower. Now you guys are might need a weapon, so I recommend you guys either A, get a weapon from an AI, or B, keep your throwing knife and stay ready to uh, fight an AI, because there are some inside and outside of the control tower. Let's go ahead and move up here, we got AI. Throwing knife him. Throwing knife him. Alright, so we don't need our throwing knife anymore, considering we have a weapon now. Let's continue making our way over to the control tower, just make sure we are careful. Now, if you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and get a self-revive located on the map at these hospitals. One right there, one right there, one over here at Side City, and then there's a, there's a few more up by Rohan Oil. Okay, let's move this way. Now, beware that there are enemy spawns. Ultra one, activity is increasing near your location. Oh, we got Stay a team alert. up here, boys. Grab that three plate. Oh my gosh. Wonder if that was a two man team. Don't look like it. Looks like it was a three man. Grab this other self revive, durable gas mask. And grab this 7-4U. It's a Vaz now. Okay. Let's keep moving. Uh, you miss anything? I'm actually gonna grab this M4. This is one of the very good M4 variants inside of DMZ. Alright, let's make our way over here. 220 meters. We did get a few self revives and a 3 plate, but I am still gonna show you guys how amazing this spot is for loot inside of DMZ. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get inside of it. Okay, so we're just coming up on it. You guys know it's the big tower instead of uh, airport. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Okay, let's make our way over there. Now, I recommend that you guys do be careful doing this. Because there are usually always AIs. Or just make a run for it like I am right now. Go! Go! Go, baby. We are not dying today. Thank God for all these self-revives. Okay, we are going to the other side because we cannot deal with that. So there you guys go. Be careful. <laughs> Jeez. There was like no way I could even get out of that. Okay, you're gonna wanna come up these zip lines. Okay, now once you guys do reach the rooftop of this, you guys are gonna wanna come up to this edge right here. You're just gonna wanna face your back here. Double click your parachute button and try and land in that corner right there. Sometimes it can be difficult, but if you guys do try and you guys get it down, you guys will love this. There's amazing loot in here. Hopefully we can get in this try right now. Definitely recommend that you guys do this. Oh, we went out too far. Okay, let's try again. Now, there is another spot you guys can sit and parachute onto this. Sometimes it can be easier for you. Sometimes it might be a little bit more difficult than the other one. So you guys can just hop right here. Run, jump off, parachute, and basically slide down. If you guys can get it, sometimes that can be a little bit harder for people. There we go. Let's go ahead and jump, run in. Take these AIs down. That's why I said you guys might need a gun or a throwing knife. Take him down. Okay, let's loot this area. Let's see what's inside of here. You gotta do with a riot shield over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Now the good thing about this area is people can't come in here unless they eat, either have a key or they get in by the strategy I just showed you guys. 
Okay, what's in here? Another cell revive. Nice. I'm in grocery store office key. We'll take it. Okay, let's see. Take him down. Let's go ahead and semtex him. Brawl, sunken ships, cash key. Let's go ahead and reload this M4. So yeah, if you guys just come in here with an AI version of the RPK or something of that sort, you guys can get this done basically easy as possible. So all I recommend is you guys spawn in with a throwing knife, kill the bots, get a gun, and then come in here. But just be careful on your way in here. <laughs> as I showed you guys, it is basically almost insta-death. But if you guys do stop at a hospital beforehand, you guys can get this no problem. Sometimes you guys might play a game and there might not be any AIs at all and you guys might be able to sneak past them. Let's push down into the bottom floor. Take him down. Let's go ahead and reload this M4. Right there. Be advised, the enemy attack hero is approaching your location. Okay, let's go ahead and reload this. Oh my god. These tier 2 AI are crazy. No stun down there. Oh my gosh. Watch out for twerp riders too, boys. Oh my gosh. They blend in so easily in here. So I'm telling you guys, please watch out for them. Pay attention to the stairwell. This is kind of the only area that really has them is near the steps. Another three plate, we're just gonna drop it because we already have one. But let's say we did find that, so we have another three plate. Okay, what's in here? Fridge, imported tea, plate. Now you guys can ascend back to the very top, which I'm gonna show you guys how to get out of this area once we get done looting. So there's 2,000. Sentry gun, we'll take it. Scientist locker key, mini back, all this good stuff. Okay, let's see. Any more crates over here? Now, you guys can get out by these doors if you want to, or you guys can basically just jump out at the top and parachute. Sometimes I use that way. Sometimes I'll go out the doors, but sometimes it's hard to stay alive after you just jump out. We'll grab this. Okay. I suggest playing slow for sure, trying to take out the AIs inside as slow as possible. Don't try and rush this. If you guys can do this with a friend, I'm telling you guys, you guys will love this. Okay, let's hop down to the bottom. All right, I think I took out a majority of the AI, so I don't really have to worry about anymore. Yeah, I hear one shooting, so might be around us. Another three plate, weapons repair kit key. We'll take that. Okay, uh, first aid. Nothing good. Another chest. UAV, we'll take that. We're gonna grab this advanced UAV. Drop this key. And there we go. We got a lot of loot. Oh my god. Will that stun him? Okay, what's in here? Another 1,200, we'll take it. All right, so in total we got, it was two three plate vests, 17,000 in cash, three score streaks, amazing stuff inside this building. I gotta reload this to get out. These guys are just gonna rush in here, I promise you. Okay, let's move. All right, so that is really the strategy I use, boys, to get, you know, regain done and to find weapons again. And basically, if you have nothing in your contraband stash, that's a very good way to get stuff back. I really just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support lately here on the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's been your boy, Spazo. I hopefully you guys have a good one. See you guys in the next video, boys. I'm out. Peace.